Michelle Obama was on the campaign trail in North Carolina Thursday, making her first joint appearance with Hillary Clinton at a campaign rally. The First Lady has become one of Clinton's most effective surrogates, even though eight years ago, during the 2008 campaign, she was among Clinton's many critics. Michelle Obama has turned into such a dazzling speaker on the campaign trail that at the rally in Winston-Salem, Mrs. Clinton, the candidate, introduced her with great fanfare, not the other way around. And I am so excited to be introducing our amazing First Lady, Michelle Obama. It's remarkable to see Mrs. Obama throwing herself into the fray because back in 2008, the Clinton-Obama primary fight was pretty brutal. At one point, while campaigning for her husband, Mrs. Obama took a swipe at the Clinton's marital problems, which Donald Trump has taken to quoting. And remember what his wife said. His wife came up with that quote that's all around. They said, oh, you could never. Then I see it was her that said it, right? If you can't run your own house, you can't run the White House. I had no idea it was her. Now, however, Michelle Obama is trying to help motivate those people who supported her husband to turn out for Mrs. Clinton. She really caught fire on the trail a couple weeks ago when she gave an emotional speech in New Hampshire attacking Donald Trump for his treatment of women. Too many are treating this as just another day's headline, as if our outrage is overblown or unwarranted, unwarranted as if this is normal. Just politics as usual. But New Hampshire, yeah, be clear, this is not normal. This is not politics as usual. The latest Wall Street Journal poll found that Michelle Obama's approval rating was 59%, making her one of the most popular public officials in America today. Mrs. Clinton, with her 40% approval rating, might want to put the first lady on the stump every chance she can get.